Good afternoon and welcome to Guilford High School Class of 2019 graduation. If you could please remain standing. We are going to have our national anthem sung by Guilford's choir. Thank you, Guilford Choir. You guys can go ahead and be seated. And to my graduates, I want to say first and foremost, before we get started, thank you for all the hard work and dedication that you have done. And this is all for you today. You may be seated. Good afternoon, my name is Gus Carter and I am the principal at Guilford High School. Today we have several guests on stage with us and I'd like to uh, recognize them at this time. First we have our superintendent, Dr. Aaron Jarrett, our deputy superintendent, Dr. Matthew Vosberg, our chief of communications officer, Mr. Earl Dotson, our chief human resources officer, Mr. Matthew Zedeker, Executive Director of Student Services and Alternative Learning, Ms. Angela Height-Carter. We have School Board President, Mr. Kenneth Scrivano. School Board Secretary, Jude McCulloch. School Board Member, Michael Connor. And School Board Member, David Siegel. Thank you guys for being here and celebrating with us. Just a few other words of recognition are due at this time before we get into the ceremony. Um, and those are to the people that have helped make today's event possible. Number one, to Mrs. Dolan and the tremendous counseling team, this wouldn't be as special without all of your support and organization for these students. To our faculty and our staff, we recognize that your dedication, caring, and wisdom will long be with these graduates as they move forward into life's new adventures. Thank you for everything that you do for our students. And to our parents, families, and our community members, we thank you for the countless love, support, and concern you have provided for the well-being of your children and for the times you have challenged us to improve and to improve the quality of our work and our schools and our community. So thank you. So today is probably my second favorite day um, of the year, the first day of school probably being my favorite, with all of the energy and the excitement that surrounds our students coming into the building, and then all of the energy and excitement that we get to send our students off with. And so I want to share a little story, um, but first I want to congratulate our staff. We're officially 3,360 miles into the school year, with just 40 more miles to go. Um, and that may not make a lot of sense to you, but I would like to share a story. Dr. Jarrett told us at the beginning of the year about two explorers who raced to get to the South Pole. 
This was before modern transportation, and the only actual way you're going to get there is manpower or sleds with dogs. One explorer was more successful than the other, and they won the race to the South Pole. But not only did they win, they made it back safely. We can't say the same about the other team, but each explorer had a very different tactic to reaching the South Pole. One group, the less successful group, traveled far when they had good weather days and were feeling good, and didn't travel at all when the weather was not on their side. The successful group committed to traveling 20 miles a day. 20 miles rain, sleet, snow, hail, sun, the weather didn't matter. The Guilford staff stepped up to the 20 mile march challenge as we called it, and now the challenge extends to you, the graduates. There's a really great lesson to be learned by studying the tactics of these explorers. See, 20 miles to us represented all the challenges we may face throughout the school year. But if we all committed to our goals as a team, and we committed to marching 20 miles a day, we knew we would get there. And all we're asking for is 20 miles. So the challenge is to you, graduates. Are you willing to take the 20 mile march? Are you willing to do what it takes to accomplish your goals? The other team thought that when the weather was good and everything was on their side, they would travel fast and they would travel far. But when the weather wasn't on their side and things didn't seem to be going well, they wouldn't travel far at all. It may be really tempting for you to give up or not try hard at all when things in life may not go your way. But I'm here to tell you, you don't actually have to be a superhero. You just have to show up and be present. Commit to the 20 mile march. When everything in life is on your side and going your way, show up and be present. When everything seems to be working against you and you just can't seem to be doing anything right, all you have to do is show up and be present. It's just about 20 miles a day. A very famous motivational speaker named Zig Ziglar once said, when you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. Every single one of you sitting here needs a goal. What do you want to accomplish in the next phase of your life? What's the most important thing for you to do? Now take up the 20 mile march. It isn't about removing the barriers and the obstacles in your life to accomplish that goal. It's about the resilience to simply step up, step out, and be present. Today is about celebrating all of you who choose to march 20 miles every day and chose to march 20 miles every day for the last four years. And I'm sure some days were easier than others, but you're here and you've made it, and congratulations. Today is about honoring you for the work you have done and supporting you for the work that you are about to do and the next 20 miles. At this time, we're now gonna talk about all of our students who have gone above and beyond, who have chosen to take that 20 mile march every day. And so today we're gonna to start celebrating some of our accomplishments. We are proud to salute our students who have decided to serve our country in the military. At this time, with the students who have enlisted in different branches of the armed forces, please stand and be recognized. Thank you guys for making that commitment. Thank you for standing up for something. And I look forward to the individuals that you will become and the role models that you will become. Thank you. I am pleased to announce that we have three students who have earned their associate's degree from Rock Valley College through the Running Start program. For the past two years, these students have attended Rock Valley College full time, earning credits that apply to both their high school diploma and their associate's degree. Would the following students please stand to be recognized? Nathan Geschel, Victoria Medina, Stephanie Ortega. This year, I'm also proud to announce that we have 12 students who have maintained a 4.0 grade point average or higher throughout all four years of high school and they will be graduating summa cum laude 
At this time, would all 12 students please stand and be recognized. And finally, I would like to recognize our academic all-stars. These are Guilford's top 25 students based on their cumulative grade point average after eight semesters of high school work. Their cumulative grade point average ranges from 3.8 to 4.4. Would the following students please stand and be recognized? And I'm gonna ask that you would hold your applause until I get all of them names read um, so we can hear all of them. Simon Armstrong, Stephanie Brotherson, Megan Gilfillan, Trayton Huang, Ryan Johnston, Jonathan Jurgens, Raven Kaler, Alyssa Lotempio, Sean Maurer, Victoria Medina, Mario Merchevsky, Stephanie Ortega, Jada Pagan, Monica Patel, Caprice Robinson, Jerry Robles Santiago, Melitza Simukovic, Yemena Sanchez Medina, Journey Saunders, Evan Thine, Angelina Vernola, Jasmine Williamson, Gina Wartapanuda, Morgan Workinger, and Madeline Zuzovich. So I'm now going to go ahead and step aside from the microphone and give some of our students an opportunity to talk to you. At this time, I am proud to introduce our valedictorian, Jada Pagan. Jada will attend the University of California in San Diego. She will be majoring in marine biology. Jada, please come up and accept your medallion. Thank you, Mr. Carter, for those wise words. It is an honor to be here today. When I first went to write this speech, I had a difficult time deciding what I wanted to say. Nothing sounded right, and all of it seemed cliche. So I asked for advice from friends and family, which only made things worse. <laughs> all of them had their own unique ideas about how to make my speech memorable. I didn't like a single one. However, one common theme kept emerging. My speech needed to be short. That being said, I've decided to get right to the point. Congratulations, class of 2019. These past four years have been interesting, to say the least, but I wouldn't change a single thing about them. We had so many people supporting us during those times, family, friends, and teachers. I'd like to take this time to thank all of them. Personally, all of them encouraged me to push myself harder than ever before. But even with all the help, it came down to us putting in the work. All the last minute cramming and late night papers have paid off. We can finally walk across this stage. Therefore, as your valedictorian, I would like to say farewell. I wish you the best of luck in your future, and no matter what you decide to do, give it your all, because everyone has what it takes to succeed in life. Thank you. At this time, I am proud to introduce our salutatorian, Melitza Simukovic. <laughs> Melitza will be attending Rock Valley College, where she will be studying engineering. Guilford High School graduating class of 2019. I want to start off by saying congratulations on this milestone that has been accomplished today. It is something we will all remember for the rest of our lives and is hopefully something we can look back on and be proud of. I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say we've been waiting for this day ever since we started going to school. Um, 
waiting to wear this cap and gown, walk up on the stage, receive this diploma, um, and dis uh, this diploma that displays the hard work we have put so much effort into. But we couldn't have done it alone. Many of us had the support of our families and teachers pushing us to work our hardest for this exact moment. Guilford is brimming with passionate teachers who care about their success. Teachers like Corcoran, Sirwin, Rush, Kirschman, and Fabert, who from my personal experience have um, tried their hardest to not only ensure that we are successful in their classes, but that we go into college and our careers with confidence, striving to do better, and achieve greatness. And I would like to personally thank them for their passion, work ethic, and love for what they teach. Because it has driven me to work harder, and I am up on the stage because of them and their efforts. But not only them, I would also like to thank my parents for always pushing me, always keeping me going. The memories we have made in these last four years, or three, or two, or one, depending on who you are, are memories we will keep and cherish and look back on for the rest of our lives. I'm sure we've all heard from our parents or a teacher that we should make the most of our high school experiences. Um, remember our memories and our opportunities because though it goes by in the blink of an eye, it is where some of our best memories are formed. Friday night football games, homecoming, prom, and today, our high school graduation, where we close one door and open a million others. Doors that lead to lessons in success and lessons in failure, but lessons learned nonetheless. These lessons will accumulate for the rest of our lives afterwards, each one something to look back on and learn from and use in any situation life may throw at us here and after. They will shape us into the individuals we are. They will be what separates each of us from one another, but will also be something to compare and reflect. But these lessons aren't something we keep to ourselves. They're something we teach others as well. Guilford High School has done exactly that. Throughout the years, we've heard crazy stories from all our teachers about their high school and college years and what they learned, all ranging from the rabbit story from Mr. Cox to Kirschman's idiot cousin. Uh, none of us had the same high school experience, but I hope that in our near and distant future, we all face challenges that push us to be better. I hope we all strive for greatness and that we achieve everything we could want in life and more. And although this ship has reached its destination, another one will set sail soon. Once a Viking, always a Viking. Congratulations, Guilford High School graduating class of 2019. It's been wonderful. Thank you, Jada and Melitza. At this time, would the senior choir members please come forward to join the choir? And then would Alyssa Lotempio, officer of the class of 2019, and the officers of the class of 2020 come forward for the transfer of the senior sword? Class of 2019 would like to present the sword to the class of 2020. As we hand over the senior sword, we hope you will carry on the traditions of Guilford High School. Good luck to you in your senior year. It is with pride that the class of 2020 accepts the Viking sword from the class of 2019. As a class, we plan to uphold the traditions and standards of your class, the 56th graduating class from Guilford High School. Best wishes and good luck, class of 2019. We will miss you. Okay, at this time, we're gonna hear from the Guilford Choir under the direction of Miss Olivia Guido. They will be singing The Road Home by Stephen Paulus.
Now we get to the moment you've all been waiting for. Graduates, please rise. As principal of Guilford High School, I hereby certify that the members of the Guilford High School graduating class of 2019 have met or exceeded the requirements set forth by the State of Illinois and the Rockford Public School District. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of Guilford High School 2019. Students in rows one and two, please remain standing. Everyone else, you can be seated. So before we begin, I do have one request, and I know it is gonna be difficult because I know we are all excited, but family and friends, please be respectful of all of our graduates and hold your applause until all of the names have been read so everyone can hear the names of the graduates so they can be recognized. Thank you. The graduating students of the Bamet Academy, Christian Lestat Austin, Dominic Michael Angeleri, Brandon David Bautiste, Stephanie M. Brotherson, Jasmine D. Brown, Cynthia Kristen Burgess, Rosalba Carmona Careno, Alejandro Centeno, Aliyah Brian Darnell, Tori Michelle Eccles, Cherokee Rain Edwards, Nicholas George Eichstadt, Kellen Yesel Enamorado Acosta, Paola Fabietti, Natalie Jean Felder, Yesenia Victoria Flores, Catherine Lucia Flygar, Tucker A. Fraser, Karen Sarai Frausto de Loera, Jonathan Galvan, Gerardo J. Garcia Sandoval, Megan Elizabeth Gilfin, Jonathan Gonzalez Parra, Jameson A. Gold, Ember Graham, Angelo C. Guerra, John Luis House, Siobhan Lachey Halloway, Mark Anthony Rafael Howard Morales, Logan Alexander Hughes, Lucas C. Jacobson, Robert Douglas Jacobson, Martini K. Johnson, Jonathan Roy Jurgens, Nikia L. Karens, Sir John Kiljanin, Rochelle Nicole Laplanche, Jeffrey Julian Larson, Abigail Sophia Lasala Young, Alyssa Ray Lotempio, Eva N. Lowe, Casey Alyssa F. Lustre, Traylon Jaquez Meadows, Francisco Mendoza Escobar, Mario Merchevsky, Marquis Marshawn Moore, 
Jacob Jonathan Morgan. Adrian Xavier Moose. Courtney F. Nobeck. Zanil Robert Osborne. Jada Lee Pagan. Mimi Tao Fan. Bartholomew Sequan Fazian Powell. Al Hassan Kusem. Aaron Quinones. Abimalet Rios Gonzalez. Daniela, Daniela Rios Gutierrez. Brian C. Rivera. Caprice Alejandra Robinson. Melitza Samukovic. Jimena Lisbeth Sanchez Medina. Mise Santillan. Journey Rose Sanders Saunders. Savannah L. Stevens. Victoria M. Sewell. Destiny Marie Tenorio. Christopher Vanegas Yanes. Misai Santillan. Asia D. Sloan. Samuel M. Stewart. Nico Angeles Tabor. Margaret B. Torisi. Mario Villa Sanchez. Hannah E. White. And now the graduating students of the Emmett Academy. John Anthony Adamani. Anthony Aguilar. Uh, Miguel Almanza Robles. Simon Garfield Armstrong. Abdo Abdich. Alejandro Ayala Jr. Argent Balazi. Evan James Barbuto DeLong. Daria Bertram. Ian S. Burley. Michael Kamara. Keith Clement. Omar Contreras Estrada. Rigoberto Diaz Eduardo. Dewan T. Eskridge. Ashley Kate Flores. Oscar N. Flores. Mason E. Friend. Zarias Charles Haney. Elijah David Heron. Trayton Von Huang. Ethan Jacob Hubner. Alfredo M. Castro Huerta. Igli Idri Irzi. Sinjai N. In the Bandit. Daniel Jaramillo. Alexandro Antonio Jimenez. Christopher Andrew Johnson. Anquan A. Jones. Raven Sarah Elizabeth Kaler. Caitlin Alexa Keith. Zara Khalid. Sujarek Kiring 
Kirin Konai. Stefan Kuljanin. Noah Alexander Lincoln. Radovan Magazin. Alejandro Martinez Jaimes. Carson Masters. Abigail Marie Meyer. Angel Molina Munoz. Desad Cortez Neville. Oscar Orande. Brandon Ortega Garduna. Gareth Alexander Persaud. Christian Pinedo. Jason I. Poffenbarger. Carly Leanne Rigatti. Sergio A. Robles. Abdel Salem. Carlos Humberto Sandoval. Justin Robert Shineman. Carl Reese L. Sims. Daniel I. Soberani Cervantes. Zacchaeus Demarcus Stubbs. Evan Mark Thine. Connor Tillman. Antonio Torres Sanchez. Giovanni Villa Cemental. Quentin M. Wells. Cyrus Matthew Willard. Joshua Ryan Williams. Zeb Robert Wolf. Gerana Waratape Natut. Charles T. Wyatt. Alan J. Samora. And now the graduating students of the HPS Academy. Jessica Janet Alvarez. Paola Almarani Andrade Rogel. Demarcus Jermaine Barksdale. Ariana Brene Bogard. Anthony Benitez. Deja Elise Brown. DiMaggio J, sorry, DiMaggio Z Brown. Lisa Bushner. Kashantik Bird. William Andrew Thornton Gay. Jamila C. Hale. Alexia A. Hernandez. Cortris R. Hodges. Antoine Deshaun Hudson. John Gerald Ivanik. Esmeralda Aramillo. Isabella Cruz Jeffries. Sakaya Nicole Johnson. Taylor Elizabeth Johnson. Ryan J. Johnston. Victoria Ashley Kirchner Allen. Annika Brianne Lepke. Michelle Montserrat Lucas. Demaria A. Mabry. David Maximo Ballesteros. Victoria Medina. Claudia Azucena Mesa Marquez. Carrie Lynn Minier. Kayleen Juliet Moncada Giraldo. Camille R. Montero. Lucas C. Morgano. 
Rodrigo Muñiz Martinez. Ariana Noemi Murillo. Stephanie M. Morcel. Stefan R. Engwesen. Melanie T. Wynn. V. Kim Gwynn. Mackenzie Don Opat. Berenice Pinedo Soto. <laughs> Alessio John Thomas Pruitt. Adriana Danielle Purifoy. Irma Patricia Ramirez. Jordan W. Reeves. Annalisa Demetra Reyes. Nazareth Victor Richardson. Zaria D. Riley. Kimberly Marie Rodriguez. Catherine T. Rosander. Allison K. Walker Share. Amir Caleb Singletary. Wesley E. Smallwood. Timeria Taylor. Montserrat Dominique Tourhart. Mariah Linnea Terry. McKenna J. Thomas. Angela Tooks. Juanaquita S. Ordaneta. Angelina Damiana Vernola. Brianna Michelle Waddell. Brandon Isaac Williams. Tuesday, Gwendolyn Wolf. Michelle Andrea Sarate. And now the graduating students of the HS Academy. Janiska Acevedo Perez. Fatima Jasmine Acosta Ortega. Marlene Almanza Almanza. Jessica Almanza Velasquez. Gilberto Andrade Marquez. Douglas Matthew Barker. McKenna Ann Bauer. Caitlin T. Bell. Daniela Blanco. Elaine Violet Bakover. Peyton Lee Confer. Janelle Ekstrom. Yasmin Alejandra Escobedo Lopez. Jalen Anthony Ferretti. Leanne Enid Figuero Vasquez. Jacqueline Galvan Guzman. Nathan Michael Geschel. The area T. Gibson. K. Lauren Gray. Cheyenne Harper. Jasmine Hilton. Boris Ijanachiki. Charles D. Johnson. Jamil Angelo Jones. Jordan D. Jones. Rita Khan. Mauricio Lavariega Martinez. Sean Tyler Mauer. Brianna Janae McCain Bell. 
Olandria Michelle Miller. Marley Sienna Miskell. Giselle Catherine Morales. Belitza Marie Nava. Carnisha Makaya Nunnally. Stephanie Ortega. Nicole Osari Pacheco. Monica Rosan Patel. Katia M. Pena. Panu Te Fom Sofa. Annika Marie Pohill. Kiara Denise Primer. William Anthony Purnell III. Martavius Reynolds. Jerry Robles Santiago. Do you want me to say something? Kaitera Simone Ross. Diana Serrano Martinez. Breezy Caroline Silvi. Blanca Hortensia Solares Milian. Blanca Estela Suarez Calderon. Brianne M. Taylor. Angelina Ann Thimming. Lillian Truman. Valeria Cardona Toledo. Celeste Torres. Nu Y Tron. Olivia Paige Van Brocklin. Victoria Villela. Warisha Wahaj. Brian Whitelow. Arian Jadel Kaylee Williams. Kendall Williams. Jasmine Gabrielle Williamson. Morgan Lindsay Workinger. Bailey Alexander Wubin. Ricardo Sarate Benitez. And Madeline W. Zusevich. Could I please have uh, Jada and Alyssa Lotempio please come forward to the podium? Seniors, please stand. on the count of three. One, two, three. Congratulations. Okay, families, friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have one more announcement to make before we head out. Um, if you would remain in your seat until all of the graduates have exited the gymnasium, 
we will start our recessional.